Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I didn't wave. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am in Walmart's parking lot and I moved from where I was originally parked to try to have some shade, but there's no shade. Right now the clouds are helping me out, but uh, the sun is very bright when the clouds move away. I just did my groceries and I want to let you know that that's almost two weeks of groceries. The hamburger patties, that box, that lasts me two weeks. The butter, that's two weeks worth of butter. But the uh, chopped steaks, I think they call them cubed steaks here, I don't know. I can't remember. That's only one week's worth. That's all I could get. So I figured out if I would have bought four more of those packages of chopped steak that um, my grocery bill would work out to be about $60 per week. I don't know if that's high for one person or not, but I'm totally satisfied with that because I don't buy anything else. I mean, once in a blue moon, I'll stock up on some seltzer, but that's not something I buy every week at all. And, you know, maybe I'll run out of salt or something like that. But for the actual food part, that's what I buy. So in about a week, I'll have to come out and just get some more chopped steak, but I won't have to pick up the hamburger patties or the butter. All right, so I am in an extremely good mood. I woke up at 6.30. I was happy to be awake. I was happy to be awake early, but I did lay in bed for about a half an hour, just looking at shit on my iPad. And then I got up and I did my morning stuff and then I got showered and dressed and I'm here it's well before noon and I have done my groceries I'm in a parking lot one of my favorite places to be <laughs> I'm so entertained by parking lots and I'm going to be recording with Derek tonight so I have that to look forward to we're going to be recording around five o'clock a video together about his ribbon cutting and that will be coming out Monday February 13 2023 uh, 7 p.m. Central Time and when the video premieres there's going to be a live chat that we can um, communicate on you can ask questions leave comments and Derek and I will be together and we will be replying to the stuff that you say and we'll just be having fun in that uh, in that chat so mark it down and join us what else is there? Yesterday, I took Skylar to therapy. I did a video on my Growing Up Crazy channel while there, so do go watch that. And um, it's the first time I take her in a long time because uh, it's not getting dark as early now. So I will probably be taking her from this point forward. I told Derek he can do the, the winter months and then I'll do the... He, he can do the fall and winter and I'll do spring and summer. So I'm going to be taking her, which is usually on Wednesdays, and whenever I go there, I'll be able to knock out a car vlog, which I enjoy doing even though the jets are bothersome. But I, I enjoy listening to that. Oh, and we had so much fun. It's funny that Skylar likes some music that I grew up with, and it, it's just so awesome to be able to listen to some you know some of the songs that that I like with her I didn't know that would ever happen um, because I barely know her music I like it okay but so she's into Aerosmith specifically dream on and <laughs> the other day we were going to Derek's studio and Derek had his car and Skyla was with me and uh, he, we we stopped at a light and Derek pulled up next to us. <laughs> Skylar and I were belting out Dream On and it was so, so funny when we noticed Derek looking at us. We were laughing so hard. So on the way to therapy, she put Dream On on and again, we sang full blast. I, it, I, it never felt so good. I mean, it just feels so good to do shit like that, especially with my granddaughter. So that was fun. And then she put on, oh my God, songs that are just, it just brings me back. Um, Kiss, 
I was made for loving you. Is that the actual title? I don't know, but I was so into it. So I'm really happy that she likes some of those songs and it was just really fun. I enjoy my time with her to and from therapy. It's about a, you know, maybe 15, 20 minute ride. So it's just, just right. And one time, oh my God. Okay. So I'm not going to like this story because I swear in front of my granddaughter, she's 14. <laughs> so, um, I'm very comfortable with that. And she's been hearing it for a long time anyway, in a fun way, a fun way. Yeah. I want her to grow up to have a fun time and I do this you know of course exaggerated to make her laugh so we can both laugh but um, somebody we were not on the highway but we were somewhere and somebody was honking their horn like repeatedly and I yell stop your fucking knocking and I look at her and she looks at me and I go I said knocking we died. We were dying laughing. It was so funny. And now I'm driving and I'm laughing so hard and I'm like bent over my steering wheel at that point of laughter where I cannot breathe anymore. And I noticed she's not making any sounds either. And I look over at her and she is also bent over and she's looking at me. And now we each take a big breath and we're laughing at the fact that neither one of us could even make a sound anymore. I have never laughed that hard. And it was with her and that just, I will never forget it. We were both in pain. It was just, it, you know, you probably had to be there, but I'm telling you, I loved it. And the funny thing is, or the ironic thing is, it wasn't the word fucking that was funny. It was that I said knocking. You know, <laughs> we still, we still talk. We still talk about it. Oh my God. So that was cool. Yeah, I might be going through some kind of a little manic thing, a hypomanic, hypomania, because I feel so good, but not in a dangerous way. I'm not worried about be, being manic and doing awful things like spending tons of money. I went through a, a I consider it a medicine-induced manic period in my early 40s, and it's what got me off meds. And I don't know if after that I ever went back to meds. I don't think so. That was awful. I mean, it was, it was awful. That was even the time that I bought that property that I was going to flip. I mean, I felt like I could conquer anything. And, um, and then when I got off all that, I, I crashed and my whole world crumbled. So, you know, it just wasn't a good experience. But this, this is good. This is like just enough to keep me happy, um, hopeful, excited, uh, willing to experience things. I, you know, I want to, I just want to do some stuff. I actually talked to my brother in Houston. He's right outside of Houston. And uh, I want to go visit them. Just me at first, just me. I haven't seen him in, I don't know, like over 15 years. And I really would like to go see him, but right now they're they're away at one of their vacation homes. So I'm not gonna go, but when they get back, I'd like to go see them. And just me alone at first, I just wanna do something like that. And then, um, of course, uh, after that, you know, when Skylar's out of school or whatever, I, you know, I certainly wanna take Skylar. She has cousins there that she hasn't met and, um, uh, you know, so I would just like to do that and I, you know, I just want to start doing things. I just think it's very exciting. I'm so, so anxious to see what my life will become. But I, uh, for right now, I just want to try to make the best of every day. And if I'm feeling like this, thank you, butter. I'm just going to, um, take advantage of it and do stuff. So I guess I'll stop for now. I want to get this video up and then I have some stuff I want to do. I will be alone all weekend because Derek will be in Nashville. He's leaving tomorrow, which is Friday. Skylar's going to her mother's and she leaves on Friday after school. So 
nobody will be back until Sunday night. And like I've said before, even though that doesn't mean I would have been with them, I just like knowing they're there. So when they're both gone, I am very aware that I'm alone. <laughs> and, but I have a crochet group on Saturdays. There's only one per month of that, and so I'm definitely going there on Saturday. It's not a class where you teach anybody, but we can help each other. But you just bring your crocheting and your crochet, and they do offer yarn and the use of a crochet hook if you don't have that stuff. And you can help someone if you want. So I'm looking forward to that. Sunday, I would imagine I'll go out, try to hit Goodwill, see if I can find any treasures. And then, I don't know, maybe do something else. Uh, I'm just, uh, do you know what I feel like doing? I, well, I shouldn't say I feel like doing. I hope I could get myself to do it. And it, it's not a, a manic thing because I've wanted to do this all along. I wish I've wished all through my YouTube career that I could do this type of thing. And I'm thinking that if I stay feeling like this, I might be able to. I would give anything to just um, almost do like what Derek does. And again, this has nothing to do with Derek. I've, you know, I've been on YouTube for like eight years and I've been thinking about it since day one. I would love to talk to a person instead of Derek talking to a business in a studio, I would like to just talk to people on the street or in the store or whatever. I just think that would be so fun. And there is a difference when I'm working, when I'm recording for the sake of my channel. It's almost like when you're in a costume, you can act different, like if you're in a Halloween costume, because you're kind of hidden. And I just feel like when I'm working, it's a, it's a different place for me. It's not like me talking. It's it's not like me the person talking. It's me the personality talking. It is a difference for me. And I just would really love that. And I've been thinking about that and thinking about like where are places I could go and uh, and just do that. You know, I have talked to people in my coupon days when I had my coupon blog. I was recognized all the time. It was so weird, but it was because I was doing coupon deals and telling people how to get these deals with various coupons, and I had a lot of local um, subscribers who were going to the same Shaw's as me and the same Walmart as me, and I would get, like, stopped in the aisle. They're like, oh my God, you're Darlene. I mean, not uh, not kidding. It's It's funny how... You don't actually have to be a celebrity to be a celebrity. I know that's just weird. It just feels very weird. It feels good, but it's weird. And I say to myself, you know, these people are acting like I'm somebody else, not like it's me. And then one time I got recognized at the Portland airport going to Mississippi uh, by the, the person who checks the the license at, you know before you go through security and she even said she had watched my video and she was hoping she'd be working that day because she knew I was flying out the next morning it, so that I was like oh my god and then when I was in Memphis I can't remember if it was like when I got there or before I was leaving I said to Derek something like oh yeah it's like when I get noticed in the Memphis airport, then I'll know that I'm up there or something like that because, you know, it was the Portland airport and uh, my followers were, a lot of them were local, so that wasn't like too surprising to me. And then I was sitting waiting for my plane. I, I actually think I was eating meat <laughs> and I see somebody from a little bit far away get up and start walking toward me and she did. She came up to me and she goes, are you Darlene? And I was like, my God. I'm like, I, I remember, I think I said to her, are you kidding me? I was like, you know, I couldn't believe I had said that to Derek. And she recognized me, but they were from the East Coast. She was going to Rhode Island and I was going to Maine. So I said, okay, so it's an East Coaster. But, you know, she just was, you know, she was so nice. It's just, it's kind of fun. But I can see how an actual celebrity could be like, 
you know, it just must be weird when you can't go anywhere without people knowing who you are. I don't know. I'll never experience that. But Derek is starting to experience this with his podcast, and I am so happy for him. When he goes into a, a certain bar with Jeff or whatever, people are like, oh, my God, we watch you. And you know, So it's kind of cool. All right. I got to stop talking now, and I think I will go home, and I need to work on... Um, the series that I'm working on for videos that I'm recording just a little bit at a time. So maybe I'll work on that and uh, anxious to be with Derek tonight to record. I hope that goes good and then I'll be editing and we'll have that up for you guys on Monday night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!